Hello everyone. Welcome back to another video of Myra's short video series. In this video, we will be talking about moving load optimization feature. So as you already know, like in Midas, we can perform the moving load analysis for different standard vehicles. And Midas performs moving load analysis as per influence line diagram approach. So to understand this moving load optimization, you can see here, like we can define the lanes and under that lane option, we have the option to give the optimization lane width. So to understand this, let's see this as an example. Like suppose I'm having this much carriageway width for the total bridge. So that will be given as the optimization lane. Then I will input the value of one link single lane width over that portion. So in case I'm having optimization lane as 30 feet and my lane width is 10 feet for single lane, then I can give total number of lanes that can be considered in the optimization lane width. So for that, I can give the value for the total number of lanes that are to be considered. Once I provide that value, the program will create the intermediate locations to place the vehicle. So as you see here, we have having the wheel spacing. We give the center to center spacing in outer wheels. According to that, the program will place the vehicle at the adjacent locations. Also, we will provide some margin so that this is the distance between the edge of optimization lane and it is closest to vehicle placement. So what is the margin to the extreme end that we can provide over here? Then we can give the moving load case as well for this optimized lane. So for that, we will choose the minimum number of loaded lane and the maximum number of loaded lane. Along with that, you can give the minimum vehicle distance, like what should be the minimum distance between vehicle placement in the transverse direction that you can provide over here. So let's go to the program and understand the feature in a better manner. So here you can see like we are having a steel composite bridge and to provide any moving load analysis definitions, first we go to the load option and under the moving load, as you already know, like we provide the standard code, then we define the lanes, vehicles and the moving load case. It is a three step process in this manner. So in the traffic line lane option, we have already discussed a lot about traffic line lane option where we give the different lanes just by giving the location of it. Like what is the total width of that specific lane? According to that, we can define n number of lanes over here. Then the topic that we are talking about today is moving load optimization, which is present here. So I select that and to define any moving load optimization lane, we will first give the optimization lane width. So in this case, as I mentioned, I'm giving it as 30 feet and I'm giving the lane width as 10 feet. Then I will give total number of lanes that are to be considered. So in this case, if I'm giving two to the power one plus one, that means it will be two to the power one plus one. So according to that, the lanes will be defined. I will keep it as zero. So that means two to the power zero is one plus one. That means it will be in that case, it will be two lanes. If I provide it as one, in that case, it will be two to the power one, that is two and plus one, that is the total number of lanes defined will be three lanes. So we have given that, then we give the wheel spacing. Then here we will choose the cross beam vehicular load distribution as it is a grillage model. It will ensure that the load is distributed properly in the transverse members using this dummy beam group. So if I show you this dummy beam group, that is the transverse elements. Then we just select the center of this bridge and provide the definition. So here you can see. Once I've defined the lane, then I can just define the vehicles as well. In this case, you can see HL93 truck that has been defined. So from the standard code, you can select any vehicles in that manner. Then we next define the moving load case. So I select that option. And here, when you click on add, you have the option to define the moving load optimization lane. So we will check on this option. Here you see the multiple presence factor for the different scale factor corresponding to total number of loaded lane. Then I can give the minimum vehicle distance, like how the vehicle will be spaced transversely. So I'm giving it as one 3.28 feet, that is one meter. Then here I've given the optimized lane that I've selected for the case. And I will give the maximum number of vehicles as well that are to be considered and I click add. So this is the predefined load case that you can see. So we have given maximum number of loaded lane vehicle as three and the minimum of vehicle as one. Accordingly, we have selected the vehicle and click on add. Then we can check the results by going under the results tab. I check the bending moment diagram. 
I will just activate only my steel girders here. And here I will check the results for the same. So you can see the maximum sagging moment is 1468 and it is element 487 that is experiencing this maximum moment. Similarly, the minimum is on element 584 and the value is minus 1266. So that is how you can use this feature of transverse optimization, moving load optimization feature by going under the load tab and using this part. So I hope this video was helpful for you. See you in the next.